Hi, welcome back. In this video, I would like to talk about small object optimization. And that's an idiom that is used to avoid dynamic memory allocations for creating small objects. Because dynamic memory allocation is not cheap. Dynamic memory allocation invokes some system calls and it is more expensive in terms of performance if we compare it to creating object on stack. And also it depends on you what you mean by small objects. So you define the maximum size of small object. You define that threshold depending on your needs. And then if object is big, if size of object to be created is bigger than this threshold, then you use dynamic memory allocation, you create object on heap, otherwise you create object on stack in some buffer, some pre-allocated buffer. And you may, you may find examples of small object optimization in standard library, for example, std string has it, or rather std basic string that, that, that is a base class of std string. Or you may find it in boost small vector that implements this kind of optimization for vectors of small size, this small number of elements. And here I will also show you a basic example of small object optimization, basic implementation of this, imp of, of this imp optimization. So here I have class my string, I have static variable small object size where I define the maximum size of my small object. And I have two members, size, which is size of my string, and data of type union data. Of. So here I've got an instance of union class. And in this union I have, I, I either use this pointer that points to, to heap, that points to some character array on heap, or I'm using this buffer, this character array on stack, this buffer of size, of size of my, maximum size of my small object. And here in constructor of my string, I'm taking the char array through this pointer. I'm taking basically the content of my string and I'm calling this function strlin to, to get the size of strings that, that I need to create. It will calculate the size and now note that this, this must be null terminated. And then we have size, and if size of object to be created, of string to be created is bigger than the maximum size of small object that we've defined, then we use new expression, we allocate memory, and in that memory, in that allocated memory, we will create string. So we use new expression, it, it creates, it allocates memory for this char array of this size, and it returns pointer, we store that pointer here, and in that point, using that pointer, that points to address of this array. In that array, in that memory that we've just allocated here, we copy, we copy the content from this, from here, from this address. Otherwise, we just copy the content from here to, to this buffer, to buffer and this pre-allocated buffer. And this one is faster than this option because here we don't allocate anything. You just copy to the buffer. And also note that we would have to use in case here our object is of type, basically our object is of type char, but if our object would be of type of some, of some user defined type, so if we, our object would be of some user-defined class that we implemented that has some logic and so on, then we would have to use placement new operator. So we would have like new, we would pass address of buffer and we would create an object. So we would place object in pre-allocated buffer. And in the structure, I am checking if I'm holding a big object. So if size is bigger, size of string is bigger than small object size. We release memory that we've allocated here by calling 
delete operator with this pointer. And in, I also implement this move constructor to show you that we need to perform this copy in move constructor. So it is kind of disadvantage of this approach, but it is minor actually because we just have small buffer. It will be like like one operation to copy it, one instruction, like something like that. And here, if size of of string that we have here, so if size of another string is bigger than small object size, then we that it means that we are dealing with some big string, and we just copy the pointer. We take the pointer from other instance of string, and in that other instance of string, since we are moving, we are setting size to zero. And thus, we are setting size to zero in, in other instance of string because it is move constructor and in the structure we are checking the size and we are calling delete operator. So we need to do it so that the structure of this other instance does not delete does not delete our string that we will be using. And otherwise, if object is small of this another string, we just copy as we did here. We copy from we copy from another string to our buffer. And then I have size member function and data, and I, we may use I have an example of using this string like this, I create two instances. It will compile and, and work. So that's how basically we implement small object optimization. There are maybe different ways to implement it, but basically the, base, the basic idea behind it is that we have some pre-allocated buffer on stack that we will use to, to, to store our small objects. And I will also mention that it does not necessarily, since, since this may be faster, it does not necessarily mean that we always should, should use this small object optimization in all our classes. We shouldn't, by no means, we shouldn't, we shouldn't implement this, this optimization in all our classes. We should do it only when we care about performance and it, when it really will be, when it really will change something, it will, it will help. So just, it, it, it's good to know that, that this kind of optimization is implemented in string or that we may use small, small vector for, for this, this kind of optimization, but it does not mean that we should always, should always care about this. So keep it in mind and that's all for this video. See you next time.